Hey guys, what's up? Leo, welcome to your reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So one person out here is um, almost like, you, I think you've reached the point where you're okay with the decision of the person not being able to offer you a commitment here. I'm getting uh, someone here where you've tried asking for a commitment over and over and over again. Now you've reached a very dangerous point of uh, your life where you long, no longer need anyone's approval. You're okay on your own, okay? You're living this best life of abundance out here, financial success, uh, traveling, um, uh, secure in every way out here, self-sufficient, okay, on your own here. But I see you as leaving the past in the past and just enjoying yourself, counting your blessings and being very okay where you are. This person out here clearly knows that there is a lack of a new beginning here and they are still focusing on short-term success with you. You're still dealing with someone here who's not being able to have that new start with you, which brings in a lot of commitment out here, okay? What's the kind of situation? The moon here. So there is a lot of unknown right now, okay? There's a lot of unknown energy. You don't know what's going on, or there's this, this energy where there is no communication, is what I'm getting here. And uh, probably there is an energy where um, you're both walking in the dark. Could be this person also, but this is the current situation for both of y'all. So you're both probably just focusing on uh, your intuition. You're trusting your intuition because it's like you're both walking into the dark here. You both know what is the guidance. The only guidance you'll have is your intuition or the moon. Okay. Uh, <coughs> right now, would it be a good uh, time to make any decisions for both of y'all? Because a lot of things are under wraps. And it could be possible that you are kind of portraying your fears, your stress, your anxiety or your insecurities on the connection or on the situation and trying to see the situation the way you think it is. But most of the times, it's not as bad as you think it is. Okay. All right. How does Leo view this person or this connection? Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay. And how does this person view this connection or Leo? King of Swords. All right. So uh, right now what's happening here is that I think you're dealing with someone here where A, there is a lack of clarity. B, there could be a lack of communication here. Communication, yes. But see, because of the lack of clarity, the moon is coming in, right? Isn't that exactly what I said? That's why the moon is coming in because there is no clarity here. You're both walking into the unknown. You know, you both don't know what's on the other side of uh, the mountain. Okay. But right now you probably view this connection as either you're dealing with a liar a cheater or someone who just does not give you the clarity okay so there is this lack of breakthrough between you both in communication and there's a breakthrough of where probably there is an idea where you probably feel things could work out here but honestly i don't see us wanting to work out this connection anymore your focus is more on yourself rather than wanting to make a relationship work out so i feel because you see this person as someone who's not giving you the inner clarity out here you're just like you know what let it go you know, let it just be where it is. This person out here views you or the connection with the King of Swords here. They view you as someone who is probably this time around focusing on their head rather than the heart. They see you as someone who is probably very assertive, okay, but someone here who probably knows what they want and you're no longer giving in to their bullshit, okay. It's like you've cut them off completely, but you're focusing on your logic, on what's rational, just being very practical and, uh, you know, more like, uh, you have all your facts in front of you and they view you as someone who's just not involving themselves or attaching themselves emotionally to them anymore here. Uh, what is the, what is the mutual energy? Death in reverse. Both of you are not ready to let go of this connection. There is an ending here, okay? But both of you are refusing to end this connection. Now what's happening here is when you refuse to end a connection, you refuse to end a connection because you know it's either ways. Either you end a connection because you are not ready to change or then you change, okay? Or you let go of what doesn't serve you from the past, your negative habits, whatever patterns that you're focusing on and let this connection come into another phase, okay? Or just close a chapter and let it come to a new phase, okay? So either ways, none of you are ready to change or both of you are holding on to a dead connection out here, okay? Which is why there, it, there's a repetitive pattern, okay? There's a pattern which is not serving both of you, but it keeps repeating itself because you need to let go of a certain person or a situation 
which is not serving you and they need to let go of a certain mindset i feel this person here has a very has a mindset where they come off as very negative okay where they already give up without putting in the hard work into something and uh, they come off as someone who has a lot of self doubt can i make this happen with leo will it work out with leo they probably think it's something too unrealistic or whatever it is right which is why you're both repeating the same thing what's the root of the issue what's the root of the issue the sun so i feel here that uh, happiness is on the way i feel there is a brand new beginning here between you both here okay but i think right now here both of you are lacking clarity a eh? both of you are probably uh, having unrealistic expectations from each other now this could be both of you all could be could be one of you all okay take it how it resonates but with the sun card here this is telling me that there is a brand new beginning coming here okay things are going to be good here but whoever is looking for clarity more you i think you are coming up more as you want clarity out here right so whatever clarity that you want here okay it's coming in that clarity will come in okay so there is this uh, energy where there is going to be a new beginning here but whatever the new beginning is i think this new beginning would give you clarity that you don't want this connection anymore or this new beginning is going to give you clarity that you needed all this while and it will help you move forward with this connection okay regardless of what it is here you will um, be filled with happiness then negative thinking is going to go away you're going to be able to focus on the positive maybe you just think something's a blessing in disguise out here maybe you had to let go of this person and you had to be in this abundant state in order for this person to realize that uh, they want how much they want you here okay but all the gloominess you know where you're just fixated on the irrational part okay where you negatively have a very negative attitude etc it's all going to go away there's going to be clarity there's going to be excitement you're going to get a road moving forward out here okay but whatever negative thoughts are stopping you from living your happy life it's all going to come out of the open okay it's all going to be resolved all right let's see what is leo feel for this person deep down three of swords in reverse this person's broken your heart this person's broken your heart here all right and you are probably uh deep down there's a lot of delay there's probably a lot of stress here i think you feel rejected okay but you probably know that there is an ending that is needed here okay earlier you probably were not being able to let go okay now we think you're coming off as a point where you're releasing the pain you're trying to be more optimistic you're wanting to forgive accept what happened between you both here okay but i think you're trying to find a positive outlet to release the pain okay up in whatever ways you can what is this person feel deep down for leo the fool this person now wants to take a leap of faith with you okay you're releasing them see that's why it happens right you release all this pain out here <coughs> in the moment you release it right what happens you start to detach from this person <clears throat> till you hold on to the uh, uh till the grudge till you hold on to the grudge till you're not being able to forgive this person right there's this energy where you're holding on to them uh, on, holding on to them and indirectly you're still attached to them you know how it feels when you tell someone i don't love you but i don't even hate you you're just irrelevant that's what's happening here when you forgive someone move on with that acceptance that it's okay i forgive this person so that's what they say uh, you kind of detach from them in a very healthy way but the moment you try to skip from person to person trying to get over someone trying to fill that uh, or that um, that space okay that this person has left empty you know you're trying to uh, probably have rebounds out here that's not healing that's just finding a temporary solution to a permanent problem now that you're letting this person go okay releasing and finding an outlet maybe you're finding a friend to talk to maybe you're watching tarot readings maybe you're probably looking out for people who are like minded maybe you're focusing on something else whatever it is right you're you're finding a very healthy way of releasing this the moment you do that with a fool here this person wants to come towards you with a brand new journey with a brand new beginning out here a very naive energy i'd say okay but this new beginning was on their mind regardless okay they want this with you but still with the ace of pentacles in reverse here there is a lot of self doubt here where their things are just taking some more time to not get off ground uh tell me what action will you take towards this person moving forward the emperor beautiful this is beautiful leo you are taking control of your life you're taking control of the situation so i feel earlier you were coming off as a control freak okay uh, i feel you were someone who was being very dominating excessively controlling you know and probably you were just like you know what i don't give a shit to what logically uh, is going on i'm very rigid and i want what i want okay and you have got to give it to me so there was this unwillingness of change from your side all right but now 
I think you're no longer, you're controlling your emotions. And I feel there's a strong embracing of logic from your side. Okay. You want a very solid and strong foundation here. Okay. You're being very, very disciplined, being very stable out here. Okay. And there's a lot of planning from your side out here. Okay. But uh, you're being very resourceful, but at the same time, you're taking control of your life, taking control of the situation. And you're no longer wanting to let this person overpower you. You're not insecure anymore. Okay, like I said, you're letting go of this person in a very, uh, uh, in a very uh, a peaceful way. Okay, even if you're not letting them go, it's like you made peace with the past, you know, and you're like, I am secure, I am enough, I don't need anyone to take care of me. Now, I, I'm not saying that you're not dating anyone, okay, maybe you are, maybe you're looking at other options out here, but the kind of options that you're looking at, you are in a very stable place. To look out for options you're not going towards someone else in a very needy, needy and clingy way okay all right tell me what action will this person take towards leo seven of cups in reverse now if this person had a lot of options they are making very clear that the option only option they want is you if this person was emotionally overwhelmed then they have clarity about uh what they want with you and then narrowing down their emotions okay uh, this person is finally ready to make a choice. Okay. So earlier I feel that this person here wanted this also, wanted that also. I'm getting someone here who wanted to eat the cake and have it too. Okay. But now I'm getting someone here who's making a more realistic choice. They're narrowing down their options. They're seeing things for what it is. They're no longer living in illusions. Okay. So I think you could be living, uh, you could be dating someone here or being with someone here who probably was all the dreams. It, it was a lot of daydreaming. Everything was up in the air. Okay. But now they choose to see things in a more uh, realistic way. Okay. It's like, I better get my shit together. All right. No more illusions. This person was probably avoiding responsibilities is also what I'm getting here. Okay. They were ignoring their emotions, building castles in the air. Okay. But not making any choices and acting on them. Now this person here is ready to make a choice and they're ready to act on them. Okay. What's the immediate future of the connection between Leo and the person they're dealing with? What is the immediate future of the connection? Okay. Six of Pentacles in reverse. There is still an imbalance here. There is still an imbalance in the image of future here. I think this person here still, if they want to take a leap of faith towards you, okay? But this person here is probably um, still not very sure about how to make it happen with you. Is what I'm getting here. Someone's still being selfish. Uh, one more card for the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so you're moving forward here. Beautiful. You're moving forward here, Leo. Okay. Uh, I feel this person is definitely wanting to come towards you, wanting to invest into you. But now there is, since there has been an equal exchange, uh, an unequal exchange. Okay. Now you feel you're giving in too much. Okay. And you're no longer wanting to uh, accept anything lesser than what you deserve. Okay. I think you're choosing to move forward out here in a positive direction. You're choosing to move away from this person here because you feel it was fated, it was destined here, okay? You're moving along to new options, moving along to a new life. You feel that you've learned your lessons. This is all that you had to learn out here and there's a lot of clarity within yourself, okay? And I feel you are just um, getting out of this controlling partnership, okay? And uh, it was definitely a one-sided situation where one person was putting in all the work in the connection and you're no longer wanting to do that. Okay, so I feel that you are probably just stepping out of this connection out here. You're no longer wanting to accept anything lesser than what you think you're worth. But yes, Leo, you are moving forward. You're no longer wanting to stop and wait for this person anymore here. <sighs> yeah. So, yep. So I think that you are just ready to move towards a positive direction and you probably feel led to it, you know, because there's a lot of positivity coming from your side out here. With the death and reversal, yes, there is a few things that you probably resist to change because of course this could be a long-term investment out here, but you will eventually give up, okay? I think you eventually are realizing that this is something that is just holding you back from a brand new life, okay? And you're just choosing to move forward here. See, I told you with the sun here, right? This is what's coming up for you. All this while things were in the dark here. But from the moon in the current situation to the sun here, eventually everything's going to be out in the open. But some, most of the times, 
with my personal experience, the sun usually seems to be more like where there is going to be clarity, uh, where you probably uh, all of a sudden have this shift from temporary pessimism, you know, you get into this zone where all of a sudden something is just like so clear, crystal clear to you. There's light been thrown on everything, but you have a realization on your own, which is more like, okay, this is what I had to do all this while. And this is what I need to do to move forward, which is exactly what I'm getting here. And you're wanting to move forward here. Okay. Give me one card for the seven of cups in reverse. Seven of cups in reverse. Four of Swords. So this person out here is very overwhelmed. Like I say here, okay, they are very, very mentally vulnerable right now. Even though they know that you are the choice that they want, you are, they're very clear about what they want with you. With the Four of Swords, yeah, I feel this person here is still taking a step back because they want to stay away from drama. They want to stay away from conflict. I feel this person is still not ready to communicate. They are ready to come towards you here, but I think they still want to think. They want to sleep over it about how to come to approach you, okay? Because this person right now wants to just have their peace, okay? Maybe the breakup has taken a toll on them, you know, their uh, mental health uh, or whatever, right? It's getting to them here. So this person is doing a lot of thinking about you. But right now, probably this person feels, this person could even be getting some counseling done or therapy, okay? But right now here, this person is too overwhelmed and they're not being able to cope up with the situation with you and them. Which is why they're stepping away from the situation right now because they can't handle it and they need a lot of peace. Okay, so they're taking a break right now. There is a lack of communication from this side. Once you wait for them to come, uh, you don't wait for them to come towards you because there is an equal uh, one-sided situation and I think you're moving forward here. But I think you choose not to give in to this connection anymore. Connection anymore. Connection anymore.